what's up guys welcome back to my channel um before i get started i just wanted to say thanks for all the sweet comments and the new subscribers and just for being supportive just wanted to make sure i took time to say thank you um because it means a lot to me today's video is going to be on the daisy rose checkered taupe and I was interested in this particular bag because I was thinking about purchasing the Neverfull MM. Yeah, the medium size. And another YouTuber brought up a good point about if you're on the fence about investing into that bag, maybe you should, or what she was gonna do. She actually got a replica. She didn't get a Daisy Rose and she got the replica because she wanted to try out the bag before she invested in the authentic in case she got this bag, spent all this money, and then she hated it or she didn't really use it. So I thought that was a good tip and I suggest that for anybody. So if you're on the fence about making a large purchase on a luxury item and you can get a dupe and just test it out, test out the waters before you take the, you know, the plunge, I don't think there's anything wrong with that. If you find yourself a good replica or a good dupe and you just want to stick with that more power to you <laughs> there's no judgment here i think whatever makes you happy i was interested in picking up the daisy rose to try it out to see if i would like the neverfull um, now that i have a kid and just recently my in-laws had a new in-ground saltwater pool put in so when we went over the other day i just used a regular tote and it was just super slouchy because it's just a book tote and i would have liked something more structured to throw like my my planner my ipad um another notebook um i think i i'm not sure if i took my bullet journal or not but it would have been nice to have a good tote for like days like that when you're going over there for, as my daughter says for a hot summer day <laughs> that's what she calls it um Anyway, I'm, just, I'm rambling. But I'm gonna switch the camera around and try to get it in a good angle so that I can show you the bag. I also picked up a couple other Daisy Rose uh, LV dupes to show you guys. And then, because I got this so far back, I have since made another purchase. And I'm gonna show you a little comparison in this video. I'm not gonna do a full on, but I am gonna show you a little comparison of something else um, for anybody that's wondering or just has any question all right guys so this is the bag that I wanted to show you today this is the Daisy Rose checker tote and as you can see I have mine in the brown it's also offered in the black and in the cream um, but I picked mine up in the brown I don't think that the cream was actually in stock when I purchased my bag um, so you just have to keep an eye on the website if you're really interested in getting your hands on one of these because they do sell out really quickly this bag had kind of fell off my radar and it wasn't until i don't know if you guys follow tara henderson um she posted on one of her instagram stories that hey my bag's back in stock because she has this bag in the cream color um but i think hers is a little different than this cream or this print here so she posted on her Instagram stories that hey my bags back in stock and so I did the swipe up and that's when I discovered that Daisy Rose is on walmart.com now so if you're like me and you were looking for it, it's no longer on Amazon they have since moved um, all of their stuff is now on walmart.com I don't know if Walmart made them a better offer but you can't find Daisy Rose on Amazon anymore I went ahead and got it in the brown because I was like, okay, this is your chance to try it out and see if you like it. Oh, and it also offered two day, two day shipping, which, and it came really fast. It was, I think it might've been one extra day, but that's probably because of what's going on right now, but it got here really, really fast. It was packaged pretty nicely. I think it was in like plastic and tissue wrap. I normally wouldn't go in the store and pick up a bag that looked like this but I do and that's probably why you can see I have mine cinched in on the side I don't mind it when it's cinched in um, I don't hate it when it's not cinched but I do prefer this a little bit more which is probably also why I like the Neo Noe from LV um, but that's a whole nother video 
Anyway, so I have mine cinched in on the sides. It does have the cinch straps like a Neverfull would. Um, the same straps here like a Neverfull would. This honestly is a really good dupe and the quality. It's got good texture. It doesn't feel, this bag doesn't feel cheaply made. <laughs> so even if you just wanted this, I don't think you'd be disappointed. So don't think that this is a bad bag on its own because it's not. And from far away, I'm pretty sure you'd fool a lot of people. <laughs> they would definitely think this is a never fool. The giveaway is that, it, of course, it doesn't have Louis Vuitton on some of the squares, like an authentic wood, and the inside color is more of a maroon burgundy, whereas on a classic Neverfull, it's either that poppy red or the red. Yeah, it's the poppy red or the that pink ballerine interior, I believe, when you get this, this color scheme. Um, I know there's some different ones, but this this maroon will definitely be the giveaway that it's not that red, the right, the true red. Um, on the inside, it does have the uh, the clasps, just like on an Everfull. It does have a zippered a zippered compartment back here, just like on the Everfull. The big difference is on the Daisy Rose, you get these two side pockets, which I think is actually really good. And I feel like they should probably add that to the Neverfull because I don't think it would hurt to have those pockets because otherwise, as you can see, it's just a big hole. That's why most people, um, they suggest that you get a, a bag organizer whenever you get these. And I think that would be really helpful. For this to be a dupe, it's, it's not bad to not have an organizer or anything in it, so. Like I said, it's not a bad, a bad quality made bag. Now, it does come with the attached little strap here and the pouch, like an authentic Neverfull would, except for this pouch is much smaller and much thinner. <laughs> and it, it, this feels flimsy. Now, compared to the rest of the bag, this, this piece feels flimsy and as, you, it's, it's pretty clumsy. Zipper's not bad. The inside is the same maroon burgundy, um, but there isn't, like in the authentic, there's another slot here where you could separate things. It doesn't have that on the Daisy Rose, but I believe this was 49. I'll make sure I put the price up here for you guys or somewhere around here. <laughs> I'll put the price up here. You see, I hadn't even taken the tags off because I was trying to get this up for you guys while it was still in stock in case anybody else was interested in it. I went ahead and picked up some other, what you would call small leather goods, SLGs, I think it's what they're, what they're called. This is in the cream. This is the Daisy Rose version of the key clay. This piece feels pretty sturdy. Um, let's see the zipper. And I also still have all the tags still on this. The zipper's not bad. If they had this in the brown, I would have loved it. The only reason I don't care for it with this is because it's like yellow. And on the authentic, it's not yellow. It's, a, it's like a beige. But this is very, very yellow. I don't know if I have this where you can see it right, but. And I don't know, I don't like that. I'll put the price up for what this was too. But other than that, it's not bad. It's just, I don't like the yellow. And then I picked this up because I think this, I've seen a lot of people with this wallet. This is a really good dupe. <laughs> if you don't want to spend the extra money on the LV wallet to match your authentic Neverfull, this will do just fine. Um, unless someone's all up in your business, they're not gonna know. This is the inside. 
got a slot back here. One, two, one, two. Four card slots. A zippered section in the middle. Flip it over. Another four card slots and another section at the back. The zipper feels pretty good. I think this is a, a good, a good dupe. And they have since added another uh, wallet. It's kind of like the Victorine that Louis Vuitton offers. Uh, there's one other thing I want to show you. You know, the questions about the pouch. Because on the authentic, a lot of people like to just take this, take this off and use it as a clutch. And some people are wanting or asking, is it the same size? What's the comparison? So hold on one second and I'll show you. This is the clutch <laughs> from the Neverfull. See that extra pocket that I was talking about. I'm gonna show you a size comparison. It's a lot, lot smaller. Big size difference. And it's a lot thinner. I don't have the strap on here. It's in the bag, but that's the comparison. And you see what I mean? Like, it's not bad. <laughs> so it's really not bad. Just wanted to show you guys that. All right. So that's like the main things. I, I, I don't want to make this too long. I really just wanted to do a quick overview on the Daisy Rose to show it to you guys in case you're interested in getting this and trying it out before you make the plunge and getting the never full. I think this is a good, good experimental bag or honestly just a good bag in general. I hope this video was helpful. I just wanted to show you guys this stuff while it's still in stock in case anyone else was interested in Daisy Rose. So if you're looking for it, try walmart.com. I hope this helped you guys. All right, bye guys.